Wednesday here in the 29th week of my Ponder This presentation. Are you having a good day? If the answer is no, let's change that. Let's change the direction and the trajectory of your day by allowing me to sow some seed into your heart that I pray will motivate you, it will inspire you, and it will just let you know how much God loves you and what ability you possess in your own heart and life. Tuesday, our thought for today, I am not the man I used to be, nor am I the man I'm going to be. Simply put, I'm a man in the process of becoming. No one listening to me now has arrived yet. There are still things to learn. There are still things to do. You are not what you were. You were a sinner, but now you're saved by grace. You're saved by grace. You live in and under the favor of God. All right, I'm a work in progress. Have patience with me. Completion will come as long as I daily surrender to the necessary changes that must occur. Now that'll get you on it. Most of us don't like change, especially when it's required of us, especially when we have to break out of a rut. One person said a rut is nothing but a grave with both ends kicked out. <laughs> it's a place of dying to a greater tomorrow or a greater future. All right. And so change occurs if we are to break out of that rut. All right. Let, let's go on. Change isn't always easy, but it is always necessary. Being bendable is it always painless, but it is part of the process of becoming the vessel he demands. Now, I like that part. I like that part because think about this. Storms are going to come. The wind is going to blow. I mean, it's inevitable for everyone listening to me, child of God or not a child of God, live by faith or don't live by faith. You're going to face storms in your life. And if if you are that rigid, stubborn type of a person that says, I am what I am, take me or leave me, then what you have done is you've set yourself up for destruction. Because if you are not bendable, then you are breakable. Because a storm will either break you or bend you. And flexibility creates a bend, uh, but rigidity causes you to break. Because those storms that come into our lives sometimes are stronger than what we are. Sometimes we can't withstand the strength of the storm. And so we are forced to bend with it. But guess what? Guess what? The stormy ends, and you come right back, and you continue to grow. You continue to change. You continue to become what God has ordained you to become. So don't worry about the storms. Don't worry about the hardships. Don't worry about the rough times. Bend with a storm, and then bounce right back. Bend with a storm, and bounce right back. But get this. Every time you bend, you're a tree. You're like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. And when you bend, the dirt around the bottom and the root system loosens, and those roots dig deeper, getting ready for the next storm. In other words, every storm in your life is preparation for another one that may be coming. But you're going to make it. You're in the process of becoming. You're changing. You're growing. Accept it, embrace it, run with it, because God knows what he's doing, and he ordered your steps, and he will only take you to somewhere that's going to make you better off than you are right now. God bless you. Love you. Tomorrow, I'll be right back. Amen.